All right, in this video out of recording, I want to talk about race. Most people believe in unity, but if you look at what the scriptures have to say, there is clearly a distinction between the elect of the nation of Israel and even two-thirds of the nation of Israel themselves. Not only that, but all the other races of the earth, like the Europeans, your Asians, and your Africans. So race is part of the Bible, believe it or not. Uh, it's there for a reason, obviously. The nations are so you could tell who's who here on earth. Uh, lately, people have been trying to unify the races, but that's because they have an agenda, remember? End times, Antichrist. So they want to unify all the religions, all the people, and have the, these false imposters be worshipped as the true prime creator, which is a complete lie. Uh, back in the days, there was more segregation so that the white people, the Gentiles, could keep tabs on who's who according to scripture. And now that the prime creator is shifting his focus on his Adamic people of color, melanin, now you see the Gentile Europeans want to unify and blend in with melanated people even though they stick out like a sore thumb and in truth there is supposed to be a distinction between us and them all right like i said in previous videos a lot of these gentiles are uncivilized okay they like to sweep a lot of sh under the rug but if you bring out their dirt sheet they're you know involved in all kinds of crimes even to this day transatlantic slave trade Hiroshima, the Central North American War with Native Americans, Native American massacre in the United States, uh, even invasion of Europe, and the list goes on and on and on and on. And as scripture says, um, they don't hold themselves accountable uh, for all their crimes. All they could think about is how to evade the judgment that is hanging over their heads. And yeah, uh, race is in the Bible for a reason, okay? Not all people on the earth are righteous, all right? So you must understand that this false unity that seems to be taking place or that is happening, it's just the so-called white man trying to basically unify as many as he can with himself before he is taken down all right but you're supposed to be separate as the scripture says be separate touch no unclean being and i will receive you but these people want to you know unify the people one language uh one people kind of like the tower of babel right and yeah you're supposed to be separate that's why I like to spend my time separate, you know, even from my own people, right? Because we know two-thirds of the house of Israel, they're just treacherous. So it's hard to find, like, a true loyal individual that's not reprobate, you know, uh, spiritually retarded. that can't evolve, adapt. So, yeah, uh, this false unity, this oneness, nah, you're supposed to be separate, man, all right? Because the time of the Gentiles is coming to an end. And even though our own people or others join hand in hand with them, they will not go unpunished, all right? So it doesn't matter if you're trying to help them and save them. You can't stop what they're destined for, all right? They're only delaying the inevitable. So, yeah, a race is so that you could see who's who, man, all right? On an earthly level, on a terrestrial level. Now, what's going on in the heavens is different. I mean, it's a reflection. What's going on here is a reflection of what's going on in heaven. So, yeah, these Aryans, white people, uh, yeah, man, their, their civilization is coming down in Mount Olympus, uh, Babylon. Wherever Babylon is here on earth, wherever they got the little countries that they, you know, established, it's all coming down. And you don't want to be around these fools when they're ass whooping in Seuss, all right so yeah just a short video on race race is part of scripture 
uh, people when they try to say, "Oh, you're racist." Now nah, that's just them playing head games, running a psyops on you, um, so that they could, you know, uh, be taken under your wing, you know, so you could shout to them, kind of. Because I mean, they're scared. We know white people are scared, you know. White people are scared of black people, you know. I guess they're so yeah. They're intimidated by melanated people, so that's it. When they say, "Oh, you're racist," they want let's come together. That's them just saying that because they're afraid. All right, they're afraid for their lives, so they rather unify and try to work something out to their advantage that way than uh, separate. But I mean, if you look at my old videos from years ago, you'll see who's who. Um, at one time, we tried working with them. We tried to unify with them. We did it maybe once, twice. It, it didn't work out with some of these nations. So we're we're in times where you know you just gotta be separate, you know, and uh, let people you know deal with the uh, whatever they gotta deal with as far as their judgments go, right? Because you know we we were punished for our crimes and sins as a nation, and now they gotta. You know, they got to be punished for what they did. And, yeah, it's either adapt or perish, right, for them. And so you don't want to be, like, too involved with these Gentiles in these end times, I'm telling you. Because the judgments hanging over them are way worse than the judgments uh, the other nations have. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, just brief lesson on race racism understand that there's supposed to be division and distinction between people of color and white people right <coughs> excuse me yeah um and yeah the purpose is so so you know we could see who's righteous who's more civilized who could behave themselves and that type of stuff uh the thing with these white people is they they, they fake it in hopes of making it all right so you really need to do like research in order to find out the crimes and stuff like that because if you look at them from an outward appearance you really can't tell so the history books speak for themselves history speaks for itself um yeah just yeah be vigilant in these end times all right anyways that's it for this video as always not beloved continuing the faith all glory and praise to the prime creator i am i am uh, this messenger Emmanuel and shout out to all you sincere truth seekers out there all you righteous ones all you anointed ones with the mind of Christ building up that kingdom within you shout out to you um, keep doing what you are doing keep cultivating that righteousness within you and yeah you'll see that it'll take you a long way right it's a long journey but Hey, if you want it, just reach out and grab it, all right? So with that being said, until next time, peace.